Patent and Armor, we do two things. A, we're the only dealership in America that inventories armored cars that are ready to go. We also will armor cars on order or armor your car. We build, I believe, the finest armored car. We're a very small volume manufacturer. We do about 12 cars a year. And what we try to do is give you the best product and the best ownership experience possible. Firstly, our cars are all hand-built. They don't have a cookie-cutter solution. Each car and each client is assessed for what their need and their threat assessment requires. First, we find out where your car is going to be used. Are you worried about a specific threat, a random threat? Are you a targeted threat? All of these things will come into factoring what level of armor you require. Secondly, we try as much as we can to use an all-steel solution. We don't believe in using composites or different types of materials because we want to keep a consistent weight and strength in the vehicle. We also try to keep the car looking as original as possible because the most important thing is that you have to blend. You can't stand out. If you look at our Range Rovers, our Mercedes, put them next to a stock car, you can't tell which is which, which is very critical. And the little details, keeping the factory moldings, the gaskets, every little slightest detail you could look at is the same, which is very important. Most importantly, they drive as good as they were before they were armored. You have to get the right car to start with. You have to have adequate horsepower and adequate braking. And we select those cars and recommend those cars to our clients. How important is it that you take this complete vehicle approach? You don't just say, okay, we'll armor the doors or we'll armor the back. You have to be in a cocoon. There's no way to first realize an armored car is bullet resistant, not bulletproof. So we cannot take any, any chance or risk whatsoever that your angle of entry will be only from those points that you're protected. Secondly, if you get a projectile entering your vehicle that's ricocheting, that ricocheted projectile is more dangerous than the actual bullet hitting you because it's going to be flattened out, it'll be spinning at high velocity. If it catches your body, your flesh, it's going to ride up your flesh, tear your arteries, tear your veins, and you'll bleed to death. So to me, you don't want any you don't want gapless, seedless cocoon, no penetration. This is designed to buy you the time to get away to a safe zone, yes, and to save your life, and you only get one chance to do that. So you can't play games. You have to just be able to drive and find yourself in a safe zone. What are the things you can do to kind of take your armor to the next level? Well, the most important thing is, is being discreet and not being able to be seen sometimes. And what we do is we have this really outrageous thermal sensing heat vision, light vision system that unlike infrared lights, uses heat sensors to detect bodies and, and, and animals from a great distance. And what we do is we incorporate a series of switches in your vehicle that will kill all your running lights, brake lights, headlights, and allow you to see in front of you actually four times the distance of the best headlight system out there and peripherally uh, on the sides of the road in case there's snipers or an ambush waiting for you and able to just drive discreetly, quietly with no one knowing that you're driving. It's just critical so if someone's trying to follow you or tail you, they can't, you're not there. And that's one of the things that we do to cloak you physically from a threat, aside from having the car protected from the armor. Pretty awesome. That's it, yeah, it's pretty cool. And that's what we're about. We're about giving you perfection. And if you have patience, You'll get perfection from us.